back to my channel. Today I wanted to show you some of my winter outfits that I'm really excited to wear featuring leather bottoms. So that includes leather skirt, leather leggings, and leather pants. I have five outfits to show you, so let's get right into it. This is a cashmere sweater I got from Aritzia. It's just like a very dark gray color. It's kind of like bluish tint. And I'm wearing it with this super metallic silver Attico skirt. It's kind of like a V shape and also on the waistline as well. And this fits my hips, but not really my waist. If it's like a crop top, you can definitely see a little bit of the skirt lifting. So I need to get a tailor, but for now, I've been just wearing it with a sweater. The skirt is silver, the sweater is also gray, so kind of in that like silver gray um, family. So I like to match it with my Fendi Peekaboo, which is also in that same color scheme. And because it is a mini skirt, I like to wear knee high boots. These were featured in my must have shoes for the fall and winter season. They're like a stiletto heel and a pointy nose. So it's a very classic silhouette. It's a simple outfit and it's not too dark. There's a lot of gray, but different shades of gray. And I love playing with different textures. So like a sweater and then like a python leather and also like the skirt that has a ton of texture. So I love how it turned out. And because I'm wearing something short like a mini skirt i wanted to give myself a little bit more coverage in case it does get cold with these knee high boots so that'll definitely keep me a little bit warm so yeah this is one of my favorite jackets for the winter season i got this from sax pots on sale last year so i think i had it for almost two years now i love this because it's actually one of the warmest jackets that i own it's all shearling suede amazing quality and the best part is all the buttons it is a crop jacket so i can definitely wear it with a lot of things it doesn't make me look short or anything and it is also pretty oversized which is why i can wear sweaters underneath but for now i wanted to wear this t-shirt i like this because it, it was a little bit different even though it is from firuchi it doesn't have the like the two angels it just has like a different illustration which i love and i don't wear a lot of red so i thought it'd be like a good pop and then i'm pairing it with one of my all-time favorite like fall winter her staples which is the Aritzia leather leggings this is an older color so I don't think they have this anymore um, but I believe it was called slate gray but it honestly looks more olivey to me yeah these are faux leather leggings um, they call it Daria pants and also I guess this outfit is kind of like all my favorite things because my favorite jacket leggings and also my shoes the ones that I call my crazy shoes there are these platforms Silver again. I love metallic, especially silver metallic. There's just something so fun about them. And I love the stars on them. I guess they have stars on my shoes and hearts on my jacket. And for bag, I definitely want to go with this one. It is a vintage Chanel. It's also dark green. So it kind of goes with like a green theme here. I usually wear this jacket with this bag anyways they just match and a little bit of red i don't know it's just like these little things that i like and for sunglasses i would probably go with these the tom ford ones these are honestly one of the most flattering sunglasses on my face i don't know are they statement t i can't tell it doesn't touch my face anywhere which is like very hard to come by so i love that and these are just like all black so i can just wear them with anything so yeah like this Outfit number three, I kind of wanted to go in a more classy, elegant route. A bit Chanel-esque, if you will. I'm wearing this tweed jacket that I recently got from W Concept. When it comes to tweed or any jackets with buttons, like especially like this kind of really big buttons, I pay extra, extra attention to them because if they are too hollow or like too plasticky or too plain, they look super cheap and it kind of cheapens your entire look so i really avoid that they are very very buttery gold almost like a champagne -y color which is very pretty and then you can see the details i don't know the word for it but there's some kind of design on the buttons so it makes it more interesting and also most importantly it doesn't make the buttons or the jacket look cheap because that's very important especially if you're not spending a ton of money on tweed items and also excuse the sleeves i just wanted to try this on really quickly for you guys but if i were to wear this out i would definitely button them up it just looks very like flared and ugly but just ignore that it's kind of cropped square um, silhouette but it's very very nice it's like thick enough for california but if it gets really really cold or you go to 
somewhere really cold like the east coast or something i can definitely throw on like a coat over it it also has very nice details as well on the sleeves these are the coda skinny jeans from la Jeans. they are cropped so on the model it looks super duper cropped but because i'm pretty petite it hits right above the ankle it's like the perfect length for me it doesn't get in the way of any of my shoes like high neck sneakers or boots and anything and because it's skinny it'll kind of like stay like that and then for shoes i decided to go with my fabulous shoes right here the renee calvilla um, cleo boots black leather and black crystals these leather skinny and the leather shoes it just kind of creates like a more cohesive look that i like and then for my bag i'm just gonna go with the chanel um, black wallet on chain for me every time i see tweed it just screams chanel especially in like a more neutral color so i thought this would be like a perfect bag for it oh and i forgot to mention sunglasses these are my new sunglasses can you tell what color they are they're technically green i don't know if you can tell either these are chanel um they have like the pearl details and you can kind of see in the light right oh my gosh they look so dirty um but they're actually green can you tell maybe like against my clothes i don't know oh oh there you go you can see it's not just the lens that's um green it's actually the whole thing and these are honestly pretty pretty insane right they're really cool though i love them this is what i mean when things start to kind of get a little bit boring in the winter time in terms of my outfits because i just keep gravitating towards something black like all black just it's very simple right now i'm wearing this aritzia crop top another staples which is this leather skirt from Cezanne. it's a hundred percent leather i love it this jacket is from all saints it's actually all shearling i love this so much with like suede trims it really cinches you in so yeah skirt black t-shirt and also black jacket you can see the sleeves as well it's like huge very very long um ribbed knitted material and i think that's what really keeps the shape there is a little bit of like texture play like shearling like cotton and leather but there's not much um variety here so this is when i'm going to start accessorizing and like putting a bit of like pop of color gucci shoes it's velvet so it adds a different kind of texture and it's also this nice teal color so it is definitely something different sorry so the bottom looks awful i know and honestly i love wearing these shoes with my fun chanel oh my god again with the texture this is patent leather so it's going to add something really shiny but it's also teal i am honestly killing this and i feel like it'd be good to add a belt especially for my skirt this is technically my size but for whatever reason it seems slightly too big sometimes it's not like a super skin tight fit so if i want to um, want it to fit a little bit better i like to add this hermes belt it's adjustable it's basically one size because it's like completely adjustable it is not like two in one though you have to only use it in um this color okay last outfit i'm feeling these sunglasses again <laughs> So I'm wearing the other Aritzia leather leggings that I have. This one is in black, but it's also the same like Daria pants cropped. They really last a long time. I've had them for like four or five years. I wear them every single winter and fall season and they're still with me here. <laughs> wearing the same black crop top that I just had on. And this blazer is like a thicker winter material. I got this from, I honestly have no idea. It was like some kind of korean website that i saw on instagram a couple years ago it's actually like mini houndstooth print i love mini houndstooth print i think they look so much better than like super exaggerated and like oversized ones they just look a lot classier this outfit is kind of like a business casual very like put together kind of look and i feel like the fendi baguette looks really really good especially the older models because of the strap it's less sporty and like casual looking it's very i don't know like classic but you know what I mean, right? Like this one in particular, this is the 1997 um, version. So it has the strap 
just like the original Fendi baguettes whereas the more newer ones they don't start like this it's not like a buckle like that i just prefer this for shoes i'm wearing the renee boots again the crystals are such a nice addition to the look but i honestly feel like you could wear this with a lot of other shoe options i just put these on because they are the easier shoes to put on i don't know I, i'm feeling these as well and if it's too cold out i can honestly put these on for added like warmth and coverage so yeah, I don't know why, but I can't stop wearing extra sunglasses. Just love them. They just look so good with like a blazer. This bag, right? This is also like gray. I think this goes well with this outfit too. See, everything works. I love that. So that's it, you guys. Those were my five outfits featuring leather bottoms, like leather skirt, leggings, and jeans. I hope you guys enjoy this, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!